Hello and welcome to our discussion on financial accounting. So there's a question that how the dividend distribution will affect the financial statements. So in this session we will try to see how the dividends will dis affect the financial statements. When we say dividend, dividend is a distribution of profit among the shareholders. So dividend is a distribution of profit among the shareholders and this dividend can be distributed either in the form of cash then it is called cash dividend or it can be distributed in the form of shares then it's called the stock dividend or which is also called the bonus the bonus shares so bonus shares or cash dividend so the dividend is either cash dividend or stock dividend we'll pick up one by one so first let us start with the stock dividend stock dividend is a distribution of dividend in the form of shares so the company instead of giving cash to the shareholder gives shares to the shareholders so there is no cash flow but since it's a distribution of dividend so the reserves reduces and reserves is converted into capital so the capital increases but since the reserves go down and capital increases no change in the net worth but no change in the net worth but the number of shares number of shares increase so therefore book value per share book value per share falls so there is every possibility that other things remaining constant the price may fall so the stock dividend is therefore capitalization of reserves or converting the reserves into the capital but what will be the effect on the financial statements let us take this example we have taken the same example the capital 10,000 reserves 50,000 long-term debt 25,000 where current liability 25,000 cash and the fixed assets corresponding to 110,000 for the time being we are not getting into other transactions only concentrate on the bonus issue so the number of shares now is 1000 10,000 divided by 10 reserves is 50 so the net worth of the company is 60,000 so the book value per share is 60 that is 60,000 divided by 10 now let us say the company declares bonus shares and that too 2 for 1 that means 2 share for every one share issued so the number of share bonus shares number of bonus shares to be issued number of bonus shares to be issued is equal to 2000 okay so capital will increase by capital will increase by the face value of the bonus shares of the bonus shares bonus shares so the capital will increase by 2000 into 10 capital will increase by 2000 and reserves reserves will reduce by reduce by the reserves will reduce by 20,000 and we have sufficient reserves so capital increased by 20,000 the shares increase by 2000 and reserves will go down by 20,000 so in the new balance sheet capital will be 10,000 plus 20,000 reserves will be 50,000 minus 20,000 no change in the long-term debt no change in the current liability no change in the cash no change in the fixed assets so you can see the capital increases and reserves decrease to the extent of so the impact of the bonus shares is that reserves are capitalized or converted to the capital now let us see the effect on the net worth so net worth is still the same 30 plus 30 but the composition of net worth has changed 
the book value per share the number of shares number of shares will be now number of shares 30,000 divided by 10 so number of shares have gone up so the book value per share book value per share is 60,000 divided by so the book value per share has gone down to 30 uh, to 20 the book value per share originally was 60. The fall in the book value per share is because the net worth is constant but the number of shares have gone up. The number of shares have gone up because the company has issued bonus shares. Bonus share is a capitalization of reserve so the reserves is reduced to the extent of the the bonus or the dividend declared and capital is increased to the extent of the bonus declared. To summarize once again, no change in the cash flow. You can see that cash has not changed. No change in the cash flow. The reserves reduces. You can see that reserves have come down. Then the capital has increased to the extent of the reserves. Capital has increased to the extent of the reserves capitalized. And net worth, there is no change but since the number of shares increase the book value per share the book value per share has decreased from 60 to 20 so the bonus issue or the stock dividend or capitalization of profit will reduce the book value per share because the book value will reduce the price of the share all other things remaining constant will also reduce